Hey y'all, it's me, Stop Drop and Roll On, and it is Friday morning, glory to God. Um, and I say that on a whole bunch of levels. I'm so I am so glad it's Friday. Uh, but anyway, y'all, I just got through. Um, I ain't even pulled the bed up or nothing like that. I got up out the bed. I went and got some water, one of these full lemon, put some lemon in it. Um, squeeze some lemon in it and came in here and put this DVD on and put on some church and, and before I even got out of bed I was thanking God and telling them thank you for another day which is how I, I'm grateful and that's how I start my days because I, I know different I know things can be very very different so anyway Today is um, my brother's birthday, and I went and saw him last night, and I'm going to be spending the weekend with him because we got a lot of stuff coming up um, this weekend, And um, but that ain't what I'm on here for. Maybe I'll be able to video, I don't know, I just don't know, but anyway, y'all, um, I got workout in. I've been working out. I worked out last night. I worked out the night before, but what I have had is two nights. Last night, I had to put the prayer on this sleeplessness. The word says, the word of God says that whom the Lord loveth, he gives sweet sleep. And I know he loved me, so I'm supposed to be sleeping good. And I had two nights of crazy. And so one of them, one night I went to sleep too early. And so I don't have a big sleep requirement, so I got up. And why am I sitting up here trying to do crunches while I'm talking? Seated crunches? Okay, let me stop. It ain't like it was bad, though. I mean, a bad idea. It just kind of like morphed over into that. Ooh, back, here I come. Anywho, this morning, I had determined in my mind that it's on this um, Jessica Smith DVD, the one I told y'all about the other day, that Turbo Walk is the one that I'm just kind of like, I gravitate toward. So this morning, I did that three times. Three times. And while I was walking, I, if I got up earlier, I was catching up on um, from these nights where I haven't really, you know, done too much. And, um, sweaty. But... I was catching up, and I got up, and I was like, uh-uh, we're not getting ready to start this day out like this. You getting ready to rise up, and you getting ready to get something done early this morning. So, I went through it three times, and um, let me see. I don't know if it'll show up where y'all can kind of, oh, come on, dang it. Don't be like this. This early in the morning like this. So, I got like 33, 30. 3,738 steps in, and I did that turbo one like three times in succession, and I'll be doing some more today, that ain't all, because I want to feel the buzz, that's, that's my thing is, I want to feel that buzz every day, yesterday, I didn't feel the buzz, I only made it to like 8,000 steps, that wasn't good, but it wasn't terrible, I mean, terrible is for me not to do anything, so I got that done, and then, um, when I was in here walking and jogging and all that razzle dazzle, um, this I was just thinking about how you know when we changing things up, you you getting rid of one thing. Say like some person might you know uh might take one thing like maybe you consume a lot of sugar and you just decided you gonna um replace sugar with something else like uh, a natural alternative stevia or something like that or you decide you're gonna replace your fats with coconut oil or just all the little changes that we do you know um and everybody does things differently so your change might not be one of the ones that i mentioned uh you know whatever i'm just it's just an example but there is a biblical thing to that and it's this bible verse when i was walking that came up to me and it's um matthew 12 and 44, but it goes back before Matthew 12 and 44, but it was that verse is talking about how, you know, when you have an unclean 
home or whatever and you you take the time out to clean the house up you get it right like we doing now with our bodies exercising and changing the way we eat and then the way we do things and that's a form of cleaning out your house your temple and so you put those habits and things that you have away and you get them out you're not putting them over in the corner to save them for a rainy day you actually put these things outside the house and the thing that came up was that the verse says that the the evil spirit, which they talking about an evil spirit in this in this verse, but it's anything that means you harm, you know. So you might have a terrible way. I, let me not use the word terrible. Yeah, but terrible. You might, you know, your dietary habits might not be what they need to be, or your exercise might not be. It could be non-existent. And um, you decide you're going to turn over a leaf. So you're putting out the bad habit of crazy eating and inactivity. And you're putting it out of your house, which means now you're eating better and you're moving around. But it says that if you don't, like say like I clean up and then I get it all sparkly and clean and get, you know, my my body moving and all of this stuff. And I don't keep those habits going. Those old habits will come back. They will creep back in. They're going to come back and say, well, you know, it's a, why don't you take a rest day? And then tomorrow the turn into another rest day. And then tomorrow the turn into, and it just keeps on snowballing. And then, oh, ooh, don't that look good? And so the thing that you had stopped doing, that you had put out of your life and out of your, you know, your grasp, and you weren't doing those things anymore, here it comes and creeps back. And that Bible verse says that when the, in that verse, it was talking about an evil spirit goes out and then it can't, it comes back to check and see, um, is she really doing, and this is your subconscious mind, it can be, um, is she really doing this? Are you, you know, you really, this is just something you're doing, you, you really ain't committed to this. And if you don't have that thing thoroughly entrenched in you from a spiritual standpoint, meaning you don't swept that foolishness and you and you know the, the Holy Spirit is dwelling with you, you and you're reading your word, you got yourself full of the word, and you able when situations come up to speak that word out, because what's in you gonna come out? Um then he say, Oh, I see an area over here. And then you just come back in and they say he's not okay to come back by himself. He brings some other habits along with him. So when you hear yourself making it, just think about it. It's just something to think about. Saying, you know, this is the hardest. I used to didn't have this hard of a time, you know, losing weight when I've tried in the past. I, I'm, I'm just having a hard time staying on track and all that. The word says that when he comes back in and finds that place clean and swept out, yet uninhabited by your good habits and doing what we know we need to do, he don't just come back. He brings some friends with him. And so they're in the additional difficulties with getting back on track and staying on track. He'll bring in the spirit indecision. He'll bring in inconsistency. He'll bring in um just names and just think about it. The process of changing habits and and the things that thwart your ability to be effective with changing habits. And so when I was walking, I turned it turned into a jog at that point because I actually got mad because I'm like, okay, this is on me. I knew it all along, but this is really on me. It's on me to not only stop these things that I have been doing, whether it's overeating or not eating, eat the right thing, eating the wrong thing, exercising, not exercising. It's up to me to get this thing straight and then when i get the stuff that doesn't help me out of my way it's up to me to fill up my vessel my home my temple with good things with good habits good thoughts about myself good thoughts about the way that my outcome is going to be not no negativity not craziness not even being surrounded with or, or communing with negativity on any level, you can look at it however you want to look at it. I know how I'm looking at it. And so, this it's just something to think about, y'all. 
I got to go in here and get myself, I'm looking at this time. I got to go in here and get myself desalted and get myself ready and get the brown cotton by a minute to dry out and all of that. I just want to share that with y'all, let y'all know that I have been moving my meat and I've actually been making videos again. I just ain't posted them because I do stuff like that. But, um, that's all I got. Y'all have a good day. Move your meat. Just, just do something. Just do something. If walking is great, running is great. Jumping jacks, which I can't do because things be hurting when never mind. Anyway, I'm not getting ready to get into that. But anyway, y'all do what do something. That's all I'm gonna say. Y'all have a good day. Toodles. Where? Oh.